2014, a year of discord, disease, and disruption. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon recapped the challenges faced by the United Nations this year. Ebola, terrorism, conflict and instability on several continents. Peace operations, diplomacy, and humanitarian capacities have been pushed uh, to the limit. More than 100 million people need assistance and more than 50 million people have been driven from their homes, the most since the Second World War. Despite 2014's challenges, there was progress at the Lima Climate Conference and on laying the groundwork for a new global development agenda, including a set of sustainable development goals. As I indicated earlier this month in my report, The Road to Dignity, the stars are aligned for the world to take historic action, uh, to transform lives and protect the planet. Looking to next year, he said 2015 has to be a time for global action. Agreements are needed on sustainable development and climate change. Conflict and extremism have to be tackled, and the UN needs modernizing. From Liberia to Guinea, the UN's Ebola response strategy is working and beginning to yield results. This, according to Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, whose praise for frontline health workers comes amid a surge aimed at containing rising Ebola cases across Sierra Leone. But now is not the time to ease up on our efforts. As long as there is one case of Ebola, the risk remains. We must do everything we can to get to zero. Mr. Ban is currently visiting West Africa, urging even greater global action to stem the virus and its collateral effects. Rising food insecurity and economic hardship caused by the outbreak also continue to plague the Ebola-affected region. Uh, we remain short of people and resources. Moreover, Ebola continues to drive up food prices, keep children out of school, and draw oxygen from away from business activities. This week, the UN's food agencies warned that the number of people facing food insecurity due to the Ebola epidemic could top 1 million by March 2015 unless access to food is drastically improved. This week, UN agencies launched an $8.4 billion appeal to help nearly 18 million Syrians as the country's civil war rages on into its fifth year. The plan, if fully funded, will help provide food and medicine for children, shelter families from the cold, and support those who are desperate and traumatized. Uh, we are trying to raise more funds to continue to provide for these uh, Syrian refugees. Basically, if the conflict continues, uh, as long as it does, there's going to be ongoing movements of Syrian uh, refugees across the region, and therefore uh, they will continue to be dependent on WFP food assistance. And we will, in turn, continue to depend on the international community to provide for that. What's different about this appeal is that for the first time, in addition to meeting dire humanitarian needs, the UN will also focus on development and boosting the resilience of neighboring nations, which have taken in millions of Syrian refugees. An additional 20.6 million people in Jordan, Lebanon, and Egypt will benefit from upgrades to local infrastructure and services in areas such as health, education, water, and sewage.